Uh, welcome to the official IBU press conference after mass start men here in Antholz, Santer Silva. With us, the winner, Benedict Dole of Germany. Benny, first mass start of career, third win of your career. How did you do it today? Uh, I'm feeling really good. Uh, I'm really proud um, of my last standing shooting and my last lap that I can um, stay in front of Johannes Tingesbö. And everybody knows he's a really, really fast skier. And yeah, I was a little bit nervous when I left the shooting range. And uh, I'm really happy that it worked in the end. And can you talk about, about the last standing shooting? How much lottery was it with the wind? And how did you keep your focus together? Uh, I think uh, we both we had uh, really good conditions at the shooting range for both standing shooting. And um, yeah, I, I realized that he had one miss and I could go back to my shooting and go back into my concentration. And I said I need to risk also a little bit in rope holding for the pursuit. I make a really defensive shooting and it worked not so good. And today I try to go a little bit more offense and that's worked perfect. And you, you mentioned the last lap yourself. We know about the, the relay when you had this famous battle with Johannes and it looked like you were running for your life today. Can you just talk about yeah. the um, effort? I, I knew I had to push really hard for the first half of the relap and then we can see if he can come closer or he, if he lose maybe some seconds. And yeah, the first half of the lap was really hard and when I go to this uh, long last uphill in this Huber Alm, um, I saw, okay, he is not in, uh, in the re in reach area now. And so I had some seconds to um, enjoy this moment. And now you have us really two good weeks of this season. What feelings are you taking to Olympic Games from here? Uh, I'm first of all, I think I could um, get really some points for my confidence. And also, um, yeah, I can go a little bit more relaxed in this preparation for the Olympics. I ha I'm not, I, I knew I can, it, everything worked. I'm fast, I can shoot, make good shooting. And yeah, that's why I can go a little bit more relaxed for the next days. Thank you and congratulations. Thank you. Second place went to Johannes Stinjesbø of Norway. Johannes, it's, at the end of the day, it's another positive step for you towards Olympics. So how would you rate your race today? You pushed really hard for four laps. Yeah, I, I went for the win today from the first start. Uh, I really believed I, I could win the race before the race started today. So I was quite confident, more than normal. And uh, I think that's why uh, yeah, it brought me in such a good position. I, I was in an attacking mode. And you, both uh, competitions here, you've been really pushed first four laps. Do you feel uh, you are still testing the limits for this season? Because you looked in much better shape than, let's say, before the Christmas. Yeah, it's like you said, it's important to test the limits. Uh, that will also be the case for the Olympic Games. And uh, like in the individual i i still managed to have a quite good last loop uh, there was only one guy that was really killing the other of us uh, and today i uh, i used a little bit too much energy during the first four loops uh, but if i shot clean on the last standing it would be a smart thing uh, but when i missed one it was not so smart because i've used all my power uh, before the last loop so you have to uh, sometimes risk uh, it uh, to get the gap, uh, and I tried today. And you, your teammates went to skip the week off and stayed in Italy, and you went home, and it looks it did you a lot of good. What program did you do to come back this sharp? Uh, yeah, it was not so many days. It was less than one week, and uh, also with two days of travels. Uh, I I just try to uh, 
to yeah take a good recovery train a lot uh, and by these things together uh, by also sharing uh, meals and and the rest of the hours during the day with the family it was uh, a very nice day so I managed to really load the battery 100% and uh, that was important before going away for the next five weeks. Thank you and congratulations. Thanks. Third place went to Sturla Holm, Lagweit of Norway. Sturla strong skiing performance today again. A well-deserved podium. How did you structure your race today? It was a tricky race. <laughs> yeah, it was tricky. Uh, most of all, I just try to have fun, you know, <laughs> it's World Cup and uh, this is a uh, fun, uh, you know, this is the goal, it's like Formula One, you have to go full gas and then you have to put on the brakes a bit when you're in front, so yeah, I just try to go smart and um, use my energy when I got the most of it and uh, yeah, I'm really happy with the third place today. And can you talk about shooting in the last stand because Benny admitted they, the two of them were lucky, when you <laughs> came it was a completely different story. Yeah, I don't know what he's talking about. It was difficult for me. <laughs> so, but uh, I think uh, the man up there gave me some challenge today so I can be better for the Olympics because I know they will win there. So today I got to practice uh, practice my uh, windy shooting and they others didn't. So yeah, maybe I am better in the Olympics. Then. So with this unplanned training today, do you feel you still have room to improve these some small adjustments yeah. before you enter your first Olympic Games? Of, of course, yeah, it's uh, not the perfect race today. Uh, of course, I had two mistakes in the second prone, it's very bad. <laughs> but uh, I know how to do better and uh, I'm not uh, worried. Um, skiing shape is good, as you see. Um, so yeah, I'm only looking forward to the Olympics. And does such good skiing give you, eases your pressure on the shooting range? Because everybody's looking at you <laughs> after last season. Yeah, well, of Stula course. missed, everybody's surprised. But yeah, um, with the skiing shape, uh, when mm -hmm. it's good, uh, you can uh, afford to take some time in the shooting. And also, you know, if you have a miss, you have a possibility to catch the group in front. So just gives you better confidence and yeah, makes you able to enjoy the race and do your thing. And just if you mentioned the, the week you skipped in rope holding, what did you focus on? How did you recharge before coming here? Yeah, we were in, uh, in La Vazia's uh, yeah, training camp in altitude. and. It was uh, to prepare ourselves for Olympics mainly because uh, it's at 1800 meters in altitude and the same altitude is in Lavazze, so we get to experience how it is to ski in that altitude. And uh, also, it was good for this week, you know. Antos is also altitude, not so much, maybe 1600 meters, but still you can feel it. So coming from 1800s down to 1600s maybe made us more uh, prepared than the other athletes. Uh, thank you and all the best in, in Beijing. Thanks.